Yeah, OK. Well, let's have a look at your very first choice, uh, illustrated by this prop, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does this represent? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor When I was running, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Already, you've only said two words, but already people are against whatever you're going to say. Uh, I knew I was in trouble. I saw the hush puppies and the national health glasses uh, <laughs> on the way in. Are you suggesting there's members of the Doctor Who Appreciation Society? Here? They're everywhere. Are they? They are everywhere. <laughs> Trust me, they're everywhere. Now, when I was controller of BBC One, mm -hmm. uh, I cancelled the show. <laughs> This isn't a pantomime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he did. <laughs> so why did you cancel the show? I thought it was rubbish. <laughs> I, it, I thought it was pathetic. I mean, I'd seen uh, Star Wars yeah. and I'd seen Close Encounters mm -hmm. and E.T. Mm -hmm. and then I had to watch these cardboard <laughs> things probably <laughs> clonking across the floor trying to scare kids, you know, mm. you just sit and laugh at it. Mm. I actually hate sci-fi to begin uh -huh. with, so uh -huh. I'm not a sci-fi fan. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seemed to me that Doctor Who was, was caught in a time warp. Yes. Really, okay. so to speak. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's the nature of the show, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> well, you mentioned there the effects were, were, were very bad, and you said that's one of the reasons why you sort of got rid of it. Let's have a look at this. I rest my case. <laughs> I really do. That is pretty bad. Every expense spared there. <laughs> um, we've got some of the uh, other baddies here. See if anybody remembers any of these. I know the fans will. This is Bok, half gargoyle, half leotard. <laughs> <laughs> and now this one is called the Candy Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how Bassett's didn't sue. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, that it's, is scary. That is rather That's scary. That's very scary. Um, we've got the ratings here, because apparently, um, when it was axed, to use the tabloid expression, <laughs> um, it was beating Match of the Day and Wogan at the time in the ratings. It, was, it, it, it really? <laughs> <laughs> you don't care, do you? No, no. Um, really. Well, these are the viewing figures here. That's, that's roughly what they were. And if you take a sonic screwdriver and reverse the space-time continuum, yes. then actually what happens is that... Um, well, they're not much better, really, are they? <laughs> um, so, can you think of no redeeming features for this show none, at all? You, you just... None at all. I think it was a waste of the licence payers' money. You did... No, you... Those that paid their licence fee. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, what happened was there was a huge press campaign, Save Doctor Who, you yeah. know, and when newspapers get a lot of letters on mm. a subject, they mm. think it's a hot topic. They got thousands and thousands of letters from the three fans who were up all night writing <laughs> yeah. thousands and thousands of letters. And I was up before the BBC Board of Governors for this uh, thing. And uh, the upshot of it all was, uh, I did cancel it. It came back eventually, later, mm. after I'd gone. Um, but I, I got an award from the Doctor Who Appreciation Society of America. Uh -huh. What was uh, the nature of this award? Well, it was a lovely little gold statuette of the rear end of an... Of, of an animal, and it was the Horse's Ass Award <laughs> for, from the Doctor Who Appreciation Society. And I keep that at home in a small room somewhere convenient where <laughs> I can um, 65 pieces of merchandising have happened about Doctor Who over the years. This is a, a genuine thing here. This is, if you can look at that. Um, it's a galactic collection to knit and sew. Um, <laughs> you can knit your own monster. Have a look at this picture here. This is... Uh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> I got a jumper like that for Christmas. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Um, but I'd ask the audience here, um, if you think Doctor Who should go into Room 101, put your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> so those who don't, those who want to keep Doctor Who out of Room 101? Mm, uh, well, I think, I think the majority are saying, yeah. in it goes. Yeah. 